Wait, wait. Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Aldo Allison, thank you for being on time. Hey, nice thing, the one you got on your head. Is that a beanie? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. Nice, very colorful. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right, guys, so uh, let's get it started. Today, we're going to have a quick review. Okay, um, as stated before, I will not give you the answers, right? I will not. However, I will be able to help you on how to do something. And if there's any type of issue with the platform, then uh, we're going to cover it. Okay? Very good. So um, before we start, as you always know, what was yesterday's topic? Do you guys remember? Identity theft, fraud, mm -hmm. um, the passwords, the double check password. Okay, so it was about identity theft. Now, 
we actually, as you, I always help you with pronunciation because it is very important with vocabulary. Did you learn any new word yesterday? Mm. Try, try to remember. I learned how to say albañil ah. as a bricklayer. Bricklayer, that's right. Bricklayer. Um, great. Albañil is something that you don't normally think of, but I'm glad you were able to learn it. Uh, what about you, Alison and Gladys? Did you learn yeah. any new word yesterday? Maybe just a break liar. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. The point is, guys, if you want to improve your English, it is not only about working with grammar. It is also about learning vocabulary every single day. No exceptions, right? In average, you got to be learning around uh, between 35 and 40 words every single week because the structure is easy, subject, verb, complement, and then it's up to your vocabulary, okay? Now, what is identity theft? When a person steals your information and... What kind of information? The ID information. Personal information. Your Such ID. as? IDs, My... numbers, credit mm -hmm. cards. All right. Your personal ID, your social security number, which in the United States is not like here. It's not the little code you have when you go to El Seguro. Uh, the social security number is pretty much the one of the most important ID numbers you have. It's like your Dewey in the States. All right. So what are the steps in order for you to prevent identity theft, guys? Or, or the tips? The first one is give. check. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh. Report. Mm, mm -hmm. Be unique with the passwords. Mm -hmm. What are some recommendations about passwords? You have to no. use numbers and mm -hmm. capital letters, numbers, mm -hmm. punctuation symbols. Punctuation symbols, yeah, characters. Oh. Yeah, characters mm -hmm. and. Not using your name, your birthday, your pet's name. Okay, got it. And uh, what about credit report? What can you tell me about it? Hey, More. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Peter. Mm -hmm. What about checking your credit report? Is that important? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. I. Because we can check all the transactions we made mm -hmm. and we can maybe recognize what we didn't make make didn't do didn't do mm -hmm. now remember that do versus make it's not a complicated yeah. topic but normally with do is is about activities with some exceptions right and make is when you have like a physical change Perfect. Right? for example Thanks. make make eggs you go from the egg to the one that you can eat. So there's always a physical change. Great, I like that answer. What about um, mind your mailbox? What can you tell me about it real quick? Uh, just one. Well, we have to check, uh -huh. you have to check about all the info that you get on your mail, not physically only. Mm -hmm. or also electronically on your email and recognize what kind of uh, what kind of messages could be a scam or not and mm -hmm. delete or blocked okay do you guys agree yeah i agree also i i think that in the video said that uh, it was important because if 
there was like a change of your direction and you mm -hmm. were you weren't receiving any mails uh, it was probably because you you were a victim of a scam or a fraud or fraud mm -hmm. all right totally agree with that one andrea that's right what about shredding your trash when you get rid of some important documents Mm -hmm. like your account number or maybe a password uh -huh. they, they can get a hold of get a hold of do you know what is the meaning of that no. yeah if somebody knows that can help me explain that how is the expression again to get a hold of here i'm gonna write it down to get a hold of something. So, for example, when you're calling someone, oh, this person is not answer. I couldn't get a hold of him or her. I couldn't get a hold. Oh, sorry, I got the, the wrong item. I couldn't get a hold of someone. No pude tener acceso con él o no pude comunicarme con él. I couldn't get a hold of the newspaper. No pude eh, obtener. To get a hold of. Hold is sostener. Right? Okay. Next one, real quick. Uh, don't post everything on social media. Why is that important? Because everyone and anyone can get access to that. Okay. And why would that be a problem? Because you don't because know you the can't. person who is a, on the other side of the screen. Okay, right. Someone mentioned that, I don't know, I don't know if the person is here because I can't remember, that someone from this person's family posted that they were out and someone broke into their house. It was me. Oh, it was you, right? Yeah. Because for some reason, they knew that you were out. They took advantage of that. Mm -hmm. All right. Beware of strangers. What can you tell me about that one? I have getting participations from Aldo, Andrea, Alison, Mora, I think, the rest. Well, we have to be aware of a stranger because they could speak our information and get advantages advantages of uh, that in some cases they can use it in order to try to uh, steal our identity theft and get benefits our benefits okay to so steal your identity that's right so if you get a call of someone hey uh, we're gonna send you a check just give me your Dewey and your NIT make sure you mm -hmm. ask for the number or to go personally to their offices Right? There are a lot of scams over the phone. Good. Um, the other one, look for the lock online. What can you tell me about that one? Look for I the lock. I guess look for the lock is uh, a address in order to do not use public uh, internet mm -hmm. because you won't be uh, protected by malware, uh, virus, and some other kind of uh, uh, some other thing that can damage your uh, own information or even your computer. Okay, you guys agree on that one? Yes. Kind of. Okay. It's kind the of. Padlock. It's the padlock that you can watch in the next to the URL URL that you are. Uh, searching or using and you can go you you need to watch uh, near to that to this padlock uh, the HTTPS mm -hmm. did you check the screen the screenshot that I sent to the group yes yesterday? yes yes yes, yes. Mm -hmm. that's what you're supposed to be looking for and I didn't know that as I mentioned before I learned that from Sari I think you were the one who, who mentioned it 
but last but not least, we're almost finished with the review. I think um, what Eric was saying is still valid. It's about yes. Wi-Fi, right? Don't make purchases yeah. connected to McDonald's free Wi-Fi. And then we got uh, the last one, alerts. Why are, are those important? Mm -hmm. The alerts. When you receive an alert, maybe you have a day opportunity to do it. If someone has stole your identity, or if the van has made uh, a has movement. A, has a stolen, has made. Uh -huh. If someone has stolen your identity. And you can do like uh, a thing that you can, for example, get your money back mm -hmm. or, or stop someone to be acting bad in your name. Okay, understood. I totally agree with that one. So um, thank you very much, as always, for your participation. Hey, guys, do you have any question about yesterday's topic? I love this question. No one is going to ask us or answer. No. <laughs> you see? Oh, okay. Great. So part of today's topic, I know that some of you, I didn't have a chance to see exactly what you were uh, sending me through the chat because I was, I've been in classes, but I'm going to check it tonight right after the class in case there's a problem. Have you started doing the midterm? Yes. No. Yes. yes. No. no. I have a lot of this and a lot of this. So good, we have a balance yes. in the group. <laughs> what is the date that we have to finish the, the midterm? It's supposed to be done by this weekend. This weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm actually moving, moving forward because we are going to be reviewing it. Like I said, um, I'm gonna help you but I won't give you the answers, right? How do you say copiar o hacer trampa en el examen? Cheat. 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 So this is not about cheating on the test. This is about you talking, discussing. So what I'm gonna ask you guys is for all of you to go to the midterm, right? Go to the midterm right now, please. Please have it on your screens because uh, we're gonna be discussing things and um, we're gonna be working each other, working with each other. If there are some issues with the midterm, mid I don't know if I'm sure. That's I'm right exactly what we're gonna verify right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you guys are ready. I'm ready. Okay. okay, great. Here it is. Now, um, this uh, pretty much this test is actually divided or split into four parts. Right. Now, we are going to divide the class this is not like you're doing it in groups, but I do want you to review it. So, here, what are they describing? Advantages or disadvantages of e-commerce? You're gonna be checking the correct one, if it's this or if it's this and why, okay? You're gonna be saying why. So, also here, you're gonna be using reported speech. Now, just to recap reported speech, what happens when we are using simple present? We compare to simple, simple past. past. Simple past. past. Right. What happens if we are using simple past? Um, past perfect. Past perfect. Past perfect, that's right. What happens if we have will? Is wood. 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 That's right. What happens if we have uh, 
present perfect continuous. <coughs> Past perfect continuous. continuous. Past okay. perfect continuous. That's right. So, question: Do you want? Do you guys want to have a review about this before working together, or you just want to yes. do it in groups? Okay. I want to review. <laughs> Got it. That's what we're gonna do then. However, I, I'm just telling you guys in a oops. I opened PowerPoint, so give me a second. Let me close it. It's a mistake. So I'm going to just give you very brief information, guys, but you are the ones who will do the review. Why? Because I want to um, elicit the information from you. Do you know what is the meaning of elicit? No. 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 Okay, good. I mean, not good that you don't know. Good because I will <laughs> elicit. Elicit is when you want to get something from yes. someone. So in, mm -hmm. instead of giving you the information, I'm going to elicit the information. That means that you will give me the information. Like request to make people think so you can guys produce. All right, give me a second. I'm going to show you the, the book here. Well, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a piece of cake for you guys. <laughs> it's going to be a day in the park, too. That's another expression. That's a day in the park. That means that it's going to be kind of relaxed. And uh, let me share. Here it is. So this is the book that you all have access to. And uh, we're going to review the different types of uh, reported speech that we have. Okay. Just a second. What are the, real quick guys, what are the advantages of and disadvantages of e-commerce? The advantage is that you don't have to go out of your house. Uh-huh. You don't have to go out of your house. That's right. What else? Uh, brief information. You can sell your product uh, to, a, to a lot of people that maybe is not in your area. They, they don't live in your area or your city. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can get to more people. What else? You can sell your product 24-7. That's another one. Sometimes when you have things in marketplace, you receive messages at 3 a.m. in the morning, right? Of people yes. just that can't sleep. Okay, and what are the disadvantages? <clears throat> One of the disadvantages is that maybe your product, when arrived to your home, it can be broken ah. or damaged. Or what else? Mm -hmm. You have to pay for the shipping. Most of the times you have to pay for the shipping. That's right. Yes. Okay. Very good. So let's go with reported speech now. Now that that question is out of the question. When do we use reported speech, guys? When we want to replace some information that somebody else has said. Exactly. Now. Let's go ahead and review this. What is the structure that you see in this thing? A YouTuber says, manufacturer's websites have important information about products. A YouTuber said that manufacturer's websites had important information about the product online. What are the differences between these two sentences? Mm -hmm. there have a good change to the past which one had have the second have. one okay and so we have that it's optional as in mm -hmm. preposition that that is optional that's right and what else has changed um 
the very past that when they say the youtuber says mm -hmm. and it's a youtuber said mm, okay so pretty much in this one guys remember that you need someone who is saying that pretty much in everything reported speech because you're talking about he said this so you need a person all right so a youtuber said suggested whatever and the sentence that you want to convert in simple past okay now how would we transfer this from simple past to from simple present to simple past youtuber said the manufacturer's website had important and in this information one, about. we're gonna do them all again guys this ah one. sorry mm -hmm. big online store said that trusted brands had a strong reputation mm -hmm. reputation repu reputation repu okay reputation Okay. Reputation. So whenever you see this, you know that you're gonna change it to the past. What happened to the to the um, to this? Do we they still disappear. have it? No, they disappear. The quotation marks disappear. Quotation mark. Mm -hmm. Need another volunteer, guys. For the next one. Especially said, mm -hmm. me, Alexis. Okay, Alexis. Especially said, PayPal was more secure than debit card. Was more secure than? More secure than debit card. Correct. Correct. Next one, next volunteer. Yeah. Go ahead, Eric. A friend said, uh, I can read the, the wait. <laughs> All right, sorry, my bad. There you go. A friend says. Said or said? A, a friend said. Uh-huh. Pass. A friend said uh, that. Uh, a friend said, offered it. Things that are too good to be true may be a scam. Like this? I guess we're we have to change the, the part to be to to pass to simply pass. Which one? The the, the, the one where you yeah. have the uh huh. Like that one. At the where? Oh, like this? Yes, that where. Okay. And we have, and also we have to change may for might. Huh? Exactly. So that offers that was or where? Where. Okay, correct. Mm -hmm. And what is the past of May? Might. 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 Nice, nice. There you go. Excellent. Teamwork, guys. Now, two more before we go into the breakout rooms. Need a volunteer, guys. Me, Aldo. Dele. A blogger said mobile phone networks were more secure than public Wi Fi. You guys agree? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, I do. Then uh, public. What is the pronunciation of that word? Public. Wi-Fi. Public. Wi-Fi. Wi -Fi? Ah, public. Public. Ah, public. 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 And the last one. No fear, guys. You can do it. No fear, no pain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me, Sarah. <laughs> Rocket. Consumers report that reporter 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 mm. reporting reporter the deals were often hidden, hidden. in web page hidden 
Okay, mm -hmm. in web page. Web pages. Web web pages. Nice. Is that correct, guys? Pages. Yes. Yes, it is. So, guys, like, like as you can see, um, we have someone says, and these verbs are very important. Says, reported, Report. suggested, right? Pay attention to those verbs. Yeah. We go from simple past, from, my apologies, from simple present the to simple, simple past. past. Good. Do you have any question about this? No. Not right now. No. Can I erase and move on? Yay! Yes. Yes. Okay, well, good yes, luck. Yes, we can. All right. Here it is. So then we already talked about this. No worries about it. Mm -hmm. Now we go with imperatives. Now, like I said, you should re you should learn from your competitors, but never copy. Jack Ma said that. So, what do you think are the changes here? In this case, uh, in this case, you are change uh, in the name of the person that said or told that's the told the told the. Mm -hmm. uh, the quote mm -hmm. and is going to be first in this case and you can change with um, I guess a verb like recommends told said mm, okay so to learn. Uh -huh, sorry. remember no 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 I, I want to add something to what you're saying remember that with the previous ones we were using says right told for example, reported, and here, instead of those, instead of this, Recommends. we are changing the verbs to Said and told. requested, oh. order, advice, oh, suggested. advice, suggested. I know we have suggested in the previous one, but don't pay attention to that right now. That is one of the main things. So. What do you think are the changes that we are going to do here? Never give up. We need to know who is saying it. Then the verb. And then infinitive. So, who can tell me what is the difference between uh, these two sentences? Who can explain that to the group? I like the sound of them, of the toaster. I thought someone was having an idea to participate, but nah, <laughs> not the case. Uh huh. Come on, guys, go ahead. Don't be afraid. I mean, you're here to make mistakes. Analyze it. Yes, that is the like a poll. Uh, no, consejo and. An, an Vice. Oh, and, and it's for uh, and it becomes become from mm -hmm. uh, personalities or important personalities or recognize. Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess. Yes, it's about I mean well known people who's saying something, but it can be something I said and you change it. What is the difference okay. between these two? I mean, you were not lost at all. You have a good point. The most important mm -hmm. thing in e-commerce, pa, pa, Jack Ma, Jack Ma, Jack Ma, Jack Ma. So what is the difference? Suggest. Uh -huh. That they change self for suggest. Mm -hmm. um, and add to. Mm -hmm. person. Hmm. And that all, it's that all. Mm -hmm. In this one, remember, sometimes these books uh, have a little bit of issues. Here we have third person, but is it third person or is it in past? What do you think? 
It is fast, I guess. What do you guys think? Come on, this is supposed this to pass. be. This I is supposed to be. A it is in pass because we are we are talking about reporter speech, so we're talking something that someone has said. Someone has said in a, let's say in a present, and we we we're, we're referring to that uh, uh, sentence mm -hmm. in past. Okay. But in this case, why do we have requested here? ordered, advised, suggested, and here we have recommend, and here we have uh, recommends in third person. Check your notes. Because, because is, I think that Mark is, uh, is saying that, but I'm not reported that speech. Mm -hmm. Right now it's not a reported speech. Okay. I think because in this case, the reported speech is only act with passion. Uh -huh, so, with passion. So the, the imperative speech in that case is to act with passion. Do you guys agree? Come on, this is a review. Everybody can participate. If you make a mistake, then well, you're going to learn. Do me a favor, check the, check your notes. Because here we have something in past and here we have something in present. Check your notes, please. Remember I mentioned I was going to elicit the things, not just give you the information. I'm not doing any favor if I just give you the answer. I don't know. <laughs> For me, it's, it's okay the, the, that is in third person. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the rest of the people is very much very, very, very quiet. Maybe because you're making a, a um, what can I say, a quotation? Mm -hmm. I don't know, is that the right word? That's the only thing that I can find. Okay. And, and what do you have in your, on your notes? I'm looking for it, but I... I don't know either. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, in this case, that guys. Is, that is the structure. Normally, normally, like I said, this book have has a couple of things that need to be fixed. Now, normally, when you do this, you're going to keep it in third person, right? Because this is an imperative for everybody. Like, for example, el gobierno recomienda que mantengan su distanciamiento social. To give you an idea. So, yes, you're going to keep it in third person or because also you are, well, you're actually paying attention to this. Entrepreneurs, what subject is this? What subject pronoun? I, you, he, she, it, we, or they? They. 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 That's right. So, for example, Jack Ma? He. 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 That's what you're going to take into consideration. All right? So, let's go ahead and try to put it in practice. Who is saying it? Mark. Mark Zuckerberg. I'm just going to write down Mark. Just in case. Or um, mm -hmm. And what, what would you use? 
by your people. Recommend. 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 Recommended or recommends? Recommend. Recommend. Recommends. Third person. Mm -hmm. To hire. To to hire people. To hire people who you would work for. Who you would work for. Do we change anything else? Okay, people. <laughs> because people is with it. Yes. But for me, the structure is okay. And what about only? Where were you placed only? Recommends to, to hire only to, people or only to hire? To like this? Hire only hire people. <coughs> hire people. Only to hire. To only hire. Only to only to hire. To only, hire. To hire. only to hire. What do you guys say? Only to hire. I think that is to only hire. Right now. It's only to hire. Only to hire sounds better. <laughs> okay, now the fact that, that it sounds better or not has a lot to do. <laughs> All right? Now, what I would do is to keep the same structure. Give me a second that my thing got stuck. We're going to keep the structure here. Recommends to only hire. Why? Because we are respecting this, the, the sentence. Okay? okay. You, you can make some changes. Mm -hmm. Recommends to only hire people or to hire only people. They are both correct. Okay, mm -hmm. okay give me a second. I actually... All right, my dear, my dear fellows, I lost control of my computer. So let's go ahead and just work with this. I cannot move anything. Just a minute. Mm. Right. Okay, so next one, help me out. I cannot write down anything, guys. I actually, Zoom is stuck. I cannot move it. Next one, live. help me with the other one, please. I don't live. Larry, Larry. Mm -hmm. Larry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Larry Page, Larry Page suggests suggest concentrate, concentrate on the long term. On the long term. Concentrate to mm -hmm. on the long term. So Larry Page suggests to concentrate. To concentrate mm -hmm. on the long term. It's gonna be an infinitive. Very good. Next one, make your sir experience your competitive advantage. Aaron Leva. Levy. Aaron Levy. Levy. Recommend. Recommend. To make user experience mm -hmm. your competitive advantage. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm showing you something right there. Give me a second. Okay, now I got. I think I have the control back. I was fighting to get it. Okay, sorry about this lapsus where everything went wrong for a couple of minutes. Now I got control back. I can move it. Here, volunteer for number three, Aaron Levi. I think that's the pronunciation of his name, Levi, Levi. I'm not sure. Me, Roxana. Go ahead, watch it. Aaron, Aaron Levy recommends mm -hmm. to make user experience your competitive advantage. Okay, that's right. Next one. Go ahead, Karen. Drew, Drew Houston 
recommends to learn a lot really fast from doing things wrong. Good, excellent. Next one. Me, Morena. Go ahead, Morena. But I don't know how do you pronounce this. The, the, the... Neither do I. Just call him Tony. <laughs> Tony, see it? And then you see it um, suggest to focus on the customer, not the product. Good. I liked it. Just make sure that the S is heard. Suggests. Suggests. Uh -huh. Exactly. The next okay. one and the last one. Good job, Mori. Come on. I need a, a very brave person to answer this one. Yeah. Oh, Gladys, thank you. Yasma recommends to get used to Yes, that's totally right. So, guys, how are you going to identify this? Because normally our phrases that a famous person said did you hear me yes yes we did totally you're having issues with the internet but we were able to hear you all right guys so now that i have uh, almost all of you here any questions with this one no no okay um clear. clear real quick what are the most common issues related to the quality when shopping online? Issues. Mm -hmm. What are the most common issues? To get the wrong sizes or the wrong colors when you when you are received it. Okay. That's right, to get the wrong color. Also to have something that is not in how do you say buena condition? In good condition. Condition. Mean condition. To condition. receive a product broken. Mm -hmm. To receive a product broken. That's right. So, this is how we're gonna what we're gonna do, guys. As far as grammar, we are pretty much done with it. Do you have any question with what has been uh, done? No. No. Speak now or be quiet forever. <laughs> okay. So, this is how it's going to be, guys. Um, now that you are all in the, in the platform, you're going to have uh, 10 minutes per part. All right? But these 10 minutes are not for you to share the answers if you have already done it. These 10 minutes, and I want to be very clear and specific, are for you to discuss it and reach to a conclusion explaining why. For example, here, what are they describing? Advantages or disadvantages of e-commerce. More reach to customers. There are no geographic limitations. Well, I think that that is an advantage because you will be able to reach many, many people, right? As long as they have a blah, blah, blah. No, but you know what? I disagree. I think it's a disadvantage because um, if you have more geographic limitations, you won't be able to deliver. So I wanted to jump to a conclusion as the whole group on why you are saying advantage or disadvantage. Is that clear? Yes, it's clear. Part All right. one. All of them. Yes. Part one. You're going to be working with part one. Again, sorry for insisting that much. It's not for you to cheat. Hey, pasame la dobo. Nah, it's for you to produce and discuss it. That's what InstaForp is requiring, all right? So let's go ahead and accept the invite. Now that we already finished with, uh, with this topic, we're gonna have two to three participants and I'll see you back in 10 minutes. I'm gonna be visiting you though. Accept the invite, please. Yeah, no, what is the mid It's in unit two. At the end of unit two.
Daniel, can you hear me? It's an advantage because uh, with e-commerce, um, we can go to the more to more people and buy without limitations, uh, geographic limitations. Okay. Yes, I, say, yeah. I think the same is advantages. For me, is 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 they don't have um, any limitation when they are mm -hmm. shopping. I yeah. Think. Yes, because I can be in, I can be here in El Salvador and shop like in the United States and I can get the product. Yes. So yes, but with food, yes, we look for mm -hmm. different limitations. Okay, because right. in this quarantine, for example, in my in my town. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, food, the restaurant or the food court, uh, fast food restaurant doesn't come, don't, don't come uh, food because uh, the area doesn't have a area. Coverage area, perhaps. Coverage area, okay, okay covered mm -hmm. area so I can't uh, buy fast food. So. I understand you. In my case it's the same and, and not only the restaurant and it's the same for a supermarket too. Yeah have to go to the place to that place. Okay. So number two Anyone good or bad can easily start a business. Good job, girls. Remember, you got to fix it and check it to see if it's correct, obviously, before okay. six, 10 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. They can get access to uh, reach uh, more customers from different countries around the world. And um, they can get more um or they can earn more money because they have a lot of customers mm, that's okay all right guys um thank you thank you for practicing it remember that you have only 10 minutes and you gotta submit it to see if it's correct okay keep that into consideration okay Okay, so we already worked with both. Okay. okay. Number five, a specialist said PayPal was more secure than debit cards. It's simple past, simple present, yeah. right? Yeah, you have to put it in simple past. Yes. Well, always you have to respect the yes. uh, setting past. Said. Said. People was more secure than David. Remember, guys, uh, to double check yeah. it at the end, see if it works. You're doing great. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. More capital to in, to invert. Yeah, I don't right. know. Exactly. Exactly. And yes. Okay. Number three. Customer yeah. loyalty. Customer looking loyalty for is uh, not, uh, low prices. Is loyalty not is not always guaranteed. Guys, um, I'm truly sorry to interrupt. I just want to mention. Remember that we have until 8:56 in four minutes, and make sure that you submit it to see if it's correct. All yep. right, so uh, okay. check your face. Bye-bye.
Okay. Customer loyalty. Yeah. I had many problems. But that's some kind of frustrating because maybe you have the right answer, but the platform says no. Uh, and it's a, it's a problem because it makes you doubt about your knowledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, uh, sorry to interrupt. How are you doing? Did you finish this one? Uh, the the whole part one. Mm, no, we just answer the three first okay. one. So um, it's not my intention to rush you, but we got six minutes, all right? Okay. So turkey face. For this part, right? For the, yeah, for this part. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> make sure that you submit it to make sure you have it correct or incorrect. Okay. Please. My loyalty is not always guaranteed. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, I, I think um, it, it is a disadvantage because the thing is that online you can find a lot of websites or pages that are selling the same product and they have different prices. So um, let's say one day, today I, I buy something in one page and tomorrow I see another product in another, uh, I, I don't know, in another a site, website, and I'm going to prefer that that product I, I will want to try with another uh, provider. So I think that this is very common with the um, purchases online. So it's- um, Girls, um, I, I'm just super happy to hear that you are working a lot, real hard. Just remember that if you want to do it within the time, um, we just had one minute left. So in this one minute, try to complete the other ones and submit it to see if you got it right. Okay. But thank you for your dedication, like taking really the time to discuss it. But Julio has have almost finished on number three, the last one, right? Yeah, and, yeah. and then you go number four and number five, which is with reported speech. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. You still have one minute. I'm gonna give you like one more, but don't tell anybody. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm just trying to get out of this. Oh, I got uh, it. Okay. For me, customer loyalty is not always guaranteed. In my case, it depends on the quality that the sellers are offering. Yes. Yeah. In my case, I, I during the COVID. I order fruit and vegetables mm -hmm. uh, to deliver to my to to my home, and I have more than three months working with the same entrepreneur because he he always bring me uh, fruit and vegetables uh, fresh. Mm -hmm. So I think it depends on on, on the quality. The product. Yes. Yeah, you're right. So number four. Okay. Is online store said trusted trusted brands have a, a strong Alrighty, so people is gonna start getting here. Oh, they still have 10 seconds. All right, guys. So um, thank you very much. I visited all of you. And I noticed that you were all discussing it, you know, really giving your opinion. So I appreciate it. I'm very thankful for that. You're practicing. Now, did anybody have any type of issue with this part? Any technical issue, something you do not understand? Nope. No? Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Are you able to finish it? Yep. Yep. 
Okay, yeah. thank you. I see a lot of heads nodding, so that's good. Yes, <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> no, but I see. <laughs> okay, so as you know, it's time for us to take attendance. So give me just a minute. We'll take attendance, and then we're gonna go with number with part number two. Here. Some. Hey, um, by the way, guys, I want to make a quick announcement before I take attendance, and it's the following. Insaforp is double-checking. I know. I know that is, you know, very strict. Insaforp is checking the amount of minutes that you have been logged in. Right? So, um, again, I'm just passing on the, mess the message. Don't shoot the messenger. Right? It's an expression. Don't shoot the messenger, but I just want to make emphasis that try to be on time because I, it was like 8.05 and I only had like three people, right? To me, I mean, if, if I were your teacher, teacher directly, not through another company, I would be more pushy, to be honest with you, the same way in for Piss. But I understand you have to go home, you know, Friday, traffic, blah, blah, blah. So try to be the, the longest time in the call or, or in this conference because they are checking every single minute you log in and try to be here every single class so you are not kicked out of the program and you got the chance to learn. Okay, thank you. That's it, no more. Now, Ana Maria Mazoquín Rivera. No, got it. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. Present. Thank you. I am toggling, that's another verb, guys. I am toggling from one screen to the other. So that's why I need you to talk to me too. Thank you, um, Andrea. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Cordova. No, understood. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. Thank you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. I see you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. See you too. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. See you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Oh, there you are. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. See you, girl. David Orlando Merio. No, okay. Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. See you, girl. Roxana Domitile Rios de Quiñones. Here present. Yep, I see you. Juan Carlos Garcia Laines. I haven't seen him. Oh, here. He said that he's working. He said, uh -huh. Oh, okay. Working. So, oh, he'll yeah, join that, later if he, if he can. That was his message, right? So, por motivos de Insafor, el participante Juan Carlos Garcia Laines avisó que estaba trabajando y que iba a tratar de contact, conectarse Tarde, aunque, aunque, se fuera, aunque fuera tarde. In the meantime, Neles. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Merino. Present. Yep, I see you. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. Yep, I see you too. Morna Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. There you are. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Yep, I see you. Nice hat, by the way. <laughs> Celia Carmina Pineda Ávalos. Present. <laughs> Ah, oh, I see you. Karen Elin Garcia Benitez. Present. There you are. And last but not least, Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. There you go. The whole attitude in the world. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and move to part two. Okay. Just to double check. In part two, the following is going to happen. Let me share it with you. You're going to be... Um, Check the correct meaning, right? In some of them, like in this one, you just have one option, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which one that would be. So you're gonna try to check it real quick, what the meaning is. And also you have this, my neighbor, my new neighbor, David, asked me, you're gonna go with yes, no, to indirect speech statements. Right? Do you remember that one in particular? The yes, no questions in reported speech? Yeah. Yep. Yep. All righty. 
So uh, you're gonna do that and please make sure, try to do it in the, in the next 10 minutes, all right? So I'm gonna see you at 9, uh, 9.14 because it's already 9.03 on my end. So I'm actually matching it with my end. Go ahead and accept the invite and see you there at 9.15 because of the time that you take to, to connect. Mm -hmm. Daniel, I saw your message. Are you here? Daniel? Okay, so number one. Yeah, I, well, <laughs> number one is the, the question that I only have uh, one answer, so. It doesn't. <laughs> So, okay. I think so, the first one is to, uh, so, what do you think about this? The exchange of capital goods and service across international borders of ter territories. Territory, with the stress in the E, territory. Territory. Mm -hmm. Okay. The exchange of domestic goods with that within the boundaries of a country. Boundaries. Yeah. Boundaries. Mm -hmm. So boundaries is limits. Oh, boundaries. Mm -hmm. Well, it makes sense because when you are uh, talking about something international, it's with no limitations of boundaries, I guess. So, in trade is like an exchange. So, I guess that's okay. <laughs> that's the only option. So. So you have op good, uh, a good option to buy around the world. 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 So um, it's good, it's nice that. But in that case, um, your product can bring uh, with some this defect Effects, 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 or change for something, for example, color, a size. Okay, because it's different. The that options in the different countries. It's different in China, from here, in Salvador, the size and the money. I forget that word. Different kinds of money. Currency. Currency. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Keep it up, girls. I like that you are all wearing red. What a coincidence. <laughs> yeah. okay. I mean, the first option is the company expanded through technology, and the other one, a community that promotes innovation for technology startups. Well, the first that I can say is that is related to technology, right? <laughs> the, the, the word says <laughs> it, 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 it only has a definition. I mean, do you know what is exactly the meaning of that word? Problem teacher. <laughs> So what is the question exactly? About the meaning of tech, tech hub. Tech hub. Mm -hmm. not, well, not like a definition. Is, it, is there any word? Well, normally hub, it's, it can be considered like a house, right? Or a community of people. Like a hub is, is a group of people. A group, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning in, in this context and the one that I know. Let me see if I can find another one. Perhaps I can find a different meaning. I'll do it right now. Continue in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Centro, eje, for like a house, like a group. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, 
I think it's the second one in their case. Yeah. Like a, like a group of people. promotes innovation for technology startup companies. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, everybody has the same, right? The second option. Nice, keep it up guys. I like what you're doing. So <laughs> yeah. If he could. Okay. okay. Andrea, did you use whether instead of if? No, only if. Only if. Yeah. yeah well, we suppose if we use uh, weather, it's going to work as well, right? I'm going to try right now. I'm going to change it with weather it's and weather. check if it works. He asked me whether he, let's see, uh, no, maybe I, I wrote it wrong. He asked me whether he now nah. remember that instead of whether you could also you you can use if right yes I we're trying to see if uh, both works mm -hmm. I don't know what, what it does in word weather. No. It work for you? Let me see. Weather. No. With if is correct, but with weather, yes. no. Yes. Something happened there. Yeah. Maybe the software. Yes, I think that is that because you can use it, but if you maybe put more letters, the platform seems like you are using another word. Yeah, probably it, it so that it's not um, where the right word. Yeah. Okay, but. So far, so good. Did you get it right? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Okay, perfect. So, um, did you get all of them? Or you're, you're missing one, right? No, 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 all of them. Oh. Okay, so in the meantime, I just try to help each other and see to see if there's something that you don't really understand that you need to reinforce. We still got four. Now we still got like, Three more minutes. Okay. So keep okay. it up. But it's, it's still wrong. wrong. Which one is mm -hmm. the one that you're having issues with? <coughs> Number four. four. Ah. Mm -hmm. Try, let me give you a tip. Try using different ways of saying David. David. <laughs> What's a different way? What can we use instead of David? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Yes. Ask me. Mm -hmm. I do neighbor. No. So remember that you might not need, let's pretend that we as the students need to know 
that David is his or her new neighbor. But let's pretend that the person talking, that the person who this person is talking already knows who David is. So how do you say, um, él me dijo, o él me preguntó? Mm. Yes. Mm, yeah, I got it. Uh, changing David for he. Okay. In the meantime, my dear fellas, it's time to go back. You got 30 seconds. Alrighty guys, now that everybody's coming back, we got five seconds for the rest of the people to come back. Teacher, how do you say incapacidad in English? Um, in my English class. Medical leave. Uh, medical leave. Leave. Mm -hmm. So let's say yo estoy incapacitado, which does not exist in servicios profesionales, but it's just an example. Um, I am on a medical leave. I am on I am medical, medical, medical leave. Uh -huh. I'm on a medical leave. leave. Correct. L-E-A-B-E. -E. You got it, girl. Okay. Thank Alrighty. You. So, man, that's what I love for you to ask me things. And then, obviously, I'm not a walking dictionary. So, if I don't know, Google is going to help me out. But that's the thing. Learn vocabulary every single day. At least five to seven words a day. doesn't matter if it's an adjective, noun. Hey, today I'm going to learn vocabulary about cooking because I love cooking. Today I'm going to learn cooking too because there's a lot of vocabulary, right? Next day you can learn about mechanic if you love it. Next day you can learn about whatever, right? But make sure that you use the vocabulary you're learning. It's not good to learn vocabulary like if you're not going to use it. Or dungeon, which is calabozo. I don't think you have a dungeon at home, do you? <laughs> so make sure that you use vocabulary that you are going to use. Later, whenever you speak uh, enough, you're going to have time for learning vocabulary. Like expanding your vocabulary. First what you need, then if you want to sound like picky, right? Then you can learn more. <laughs> Any question with number two, guys? Any issue, technical issue, grammar question? It was fine. I guess. It's nice, nice. You are old, oiled. Ya ven aceitadito. Great job. So now, guys, we're going to go... Just, just one question. Tell me. Just one question. We were discussing with my group about the homework and the number 214 that we have did in many ways and it doesn't work. Okay. Let one me tell you exercise. something. Let me tell you something. We're going to have time to review it, right? I'm not going to let you hang in. No te voy a dejar colgado o, o, o bajado, like we say it in Spanish. I'm not going to let you hang in. Let's just finish this one so we don't break the, 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 the time. And then okay. we move to, to that exercise. I'll help you. I, I promise. All righty. So part three, guys. You're welcome, Eric. Part three is going to be this one. Convert the WH questions Question. in direct speech. Here is telling you what structure to use. All right, it's gonna. It has three examples. Then you couple. You got a couple of, of true or false. All right. So it is nine eighteen. We're gonna back. We're gonna be back in uh, ten minutes. All right. Any questions? Okay. okay. Nope. No. Nope. nope. Let's go back and rock it.
Okay. Number three. Okay. Uh, we, we have to read it, teacher, or what do, do, do we have to do in part three? You are mute, teacher. Ah, huh. Thank you. Oh, that's that's a little a little bit of my own chocolate. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> what you're gonna do is that you're gonna change those WH questions into indirect reported statements. So it's pretty much a grammar exercise. You don't have to discuss it. You gotta convert it to indirect speech. Okay. So the first one will be my new neighbor asked me how many children did I? How many children? Children? How many children? Uh -huh. Nice face. I have. I have. Okay. Uh, number two. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Remember, this is not just giving Chepia, right? This is not just sharing answers, but trying to understand it and explain why you are using that structure. Mm. We already finished. The whole thing? Yeah, but there are like two or three that are not correct, yes. Yeah. yeah. But we are going to try. Later. Okay. All right, good, good. You're going to have time for each part. So um, in that case, then just go ahead and discuss it. In the meantime, if you have already done it. Thank you okay. for working on the midterm. Question, do you have any any issue, any situation with previous homework? Uh, two with the no, part two fourteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you two with two fourteen. All right. So nothing before two fourteen. Mm, no, I no. don't think so. Okay, good then. Let me help another group, and uh, okay. keep, keep it in English. Two. Any question? I'm here to help. I don't really remember the correct way to make this one. Okay, no worries. Now, first of all, what you gotta do is uh, remember who is asking. My neighbor. Mm -hmm. And then, so pretty much a tip that I'm gonna give you, use the first phrase. My neighbor asked me, right? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna change that. And then um, remember that in some of them, you don't need the auxiliary. What you gotta do is eliminate it. So how many children do I have? You have to eliminate the subject. I'm sorry, eliminate the auxiliary. So you change that from a question to a sentence. Mm -hmm. And make sure also the verb goes in the past tense too. Okay. okay. Try with that one and let me know if it if it works. How many children? Mm -hmm. You're good. Did I? Mm. Remember that it doesn't have auxiliary at all. So 
instead of changing do for did, you just eliminate it and make sure that you have the verb in past. Okay. Let me Teacher. Yes. Tell me. I'm having problems when trying to submit the answer. Okay. It's what? because you still have an answer the part four. Ah, okay. That yeah. happens to me. Okay. <laughs> so um give it a try. Now try to finish. You still have five minutes. Try to finish, and uh, whenever you're ready, submit it. Remember, with this one, you're gonna use the same phrase, right? Because you need to know who's saying that. The verb "ask me" is already in past, so you don't need to change it. And then with this wh question, you gotta eliminate the auxiliary completely and change it simple present to simple past, simple past to past perfect. Any question at the end? Let me know. Give it a try. Okay. Um, what? Hi, teacher. What? Uh, we have a problem in the fourth, in the part fourth, no. in the in the five five exercise. In the fifth exercise. In the fifth mm -hmm. exercise. In the number five. Uh huh. And the fifth, because the the three have incorrect. But if uh, but I asked and said me that it was a pro, uh, issues with the platform with the platform. 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 Yeah. Okay, platform. But I'm I'm not understanding uh, which one. So you got number three, right? In the part yes, four. No, we, we, we already we, we already made, finished we the, the part okay. three. Uh huh. And we are uh, moving forward to the part four. Yes. All right. Remember that you're you're still gonna have ten minutes for that one. So if you wanna if yeah, you wanna yeah. advance, then that's fine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the problem is that we have an issue on mm -hmm. the fifth exercise on the part four. Let me check. Let, let, me, let me share. So... Can I share the, the screen? Sure, go ahead. Be my guest. Okay. There you go. She told me. Uh -huh. This they one. Mm -hmm. Okay. She told me they had gone out the night before. Period. Uh -huh. And I got it wrong. And I, and, and, and I wrote it as the same way as we did it on the 214, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. And I don't know why it's, it's wrong in here. Okay, try. Yeah, it has a comma at the end, which I'm gonna have to yeah. report. Yep. Let me report it right now before I lose this thing. Like this. Give it a try. And you're gonna have to change something else right there. What other ways do we have to say the night before? You actually have it right there. Last night. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Check. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I put a comma at the, at the end instead of the period. Mm -hmm. and That's it's right. Wrong. No, I, I put didn't. without the Peter in no, in nothing. In yeah, nothing. yeah, yeah. That that one is correct. It's incorrect. That's right. I'm gonna report it right now before we go back to the main to the main group. Just a second. And that's the only one we are missing. It is bad. Okay, let me just a second. This is be intermediate five. <laughs> 
and um, Okay, so um, yeah, right now it is time to go back. I already reported it. I'm gonna let the people know when we start the fourth, okay? Okay. Right, okay. Thank you. Alrighty, so we're coming back. I'm just waiting for the rest of the group. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you very much for coming back, guys. What about part number three? Did you have any inconvenient? Anything that is not fixed or, or yes. done? Which one? The first question. First question. Teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, yeah, we don't want any accidents. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, good. I don't want to do the pee dance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, run, run, please, run. Wash your hands. <laughs> okay, so part three, number one, you said, right? <clears throat> Am I right? Marce. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so guys, let's go ahead and help her out. Again, do not give out the answer, just explain why. We got my neighbor asked me, how many children do you have? Is that the yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, guys, what do we have to do when converting WH questions into reported speech? Teacher, I think that's the same uh, answer that Eric had cor incorrect, and he tries again uh, when we were on the in the private session and mm -hmm. he gets the correct answer then and it, it doesn't change anything. He doesn't change anything. Mm -hmm. So I think that that was a platform problem, but I know. Okay, no. thank you. Thank you for adding that up. Let me go ahead and but confirm. Think... Marcela, what is it that you have? What is it that you are adding and then Amy can, can help? Okay, I put uh, my new neighbor asked me how many children I had. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Try without uh -huh. the period. Aha, uh -huh. try without the period. That was the, the, the mistake. <laughs> now I have the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, guys, uh, I am reporting every single issue that you're telling me. I am doing it right now as we speak. So I'm gonna ask you to check your, your midterm exam tomorrow, tomorrow in the afternoon. Why? Because in case they update something, there, there might be some, I don't know, I don't want to have any issue. You already finished, you're finishing it right now. However, if there's a change in the platform, it might affect your answers, right? So if you, if you wrote it down without the, without the period and when they update it, it's with the period, it might actually count it as incorrect, right? So tomorrow afternoon after I get the confirmation that the, the, the bugs have been reported, bug, it's actually a, an insect, right? Or in this kind of vocabulary, it's a problem, an issue bug right that's when mm -hmm. children tell me este juego está bugueado and i was like what they don't even know what what it why but they are using it in spanish so double check it just in case it marks it down now guys we're gonna go to part number four there is also a mistake in uh, the last one so don't battle too much everybody has, mm -hmm. everybody has don't battle too much one. with that one because I already reported it. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to have the last 10 minutes for this. We're going to do it. 
I'm going to take mm -hmm. attendance. And then we're just going to double check uh, 2.14 because I know a lot of you are having issues there. Right? Huh? And nothing. Okay. I'm going to change. Some of you are already finished. So I'm going to do something that you might not like or you may. I'm not sure. I'm going to recreate the, the group. So you might be working with someone different this time. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Why? Go, 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 go. See you uh, what at... is the right answer in number five? Oh, I, they got to fix it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now, en estos momentos estoy enviando el reporte de algo que hay que corregir en la plataforma. Just a second. Estoy enviando el reporte porque hay que corregir un par de cosas en la plataforma también. The third one, don't save our receipts or other paperwork for the items that you purchase. For sure, it's a bad tip. Yes. <laughs> yeah, th this is the only one I can understand because uh -huh. the- That is a tip. Yeah, the other ones I like to, like a very open sentence mm -hmm. that it means. Number, number two, for example? Yes. Okay, like what is that. it? What is it that you are not really getting? It's I don't feel like this is a tip. It's like a sentence with it's very information. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's information. But do you understand the, the real meaning behind it though? To what maybe? I feel like I'm not understanding very well. Okay, no worries. Returns may not be as simple when items are bought through a third party website. Now, let's say that um, you buy a Samsung TV. Yeah. To be honest with you. And you buy it from, let's say, Simang. Okay. But there is a website that works with Siman. They are the third party. They are the middlemen. Okay. Right? So this is the customer. This is, okay. I can barely see. This is the customer, right? This is you. This mm -hmm. is the third party. And this is Siman. So you okay. paid to them. They paid to Siman. Okay? So if you want to return an item, then... It's not as easy as going, hey, Simang, I have a problem. Fix it. Okay, no problem. But if you have to go, hey, website, I have a problem. Okay, let me ask Simang. Give me a second. Right? So mm -hmm. doing the, the, the returns through someone instead of directly with the provider or directly with the store selling it, it's a little bit more complicated. Mm -hmm. Did I explain myself correctly? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that, that's pretty much, and you are right. It's not really a tip. It's just information. Yes. Mm -hmm. so the tip, how, be... how would you make it a tip? Mm. Change it into a tip. 
maybe like you should put the items in the original store. That's know. right. You should no, buy. True. You should buy. Every time that we use models like should, would, must, the verb is going to be in the base form. So that's a good tip. You should buy directly from the store and not through third party. Third party is just a middleman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it could be a good tip uh, with the change, but sometimes you cannot do that. Because, for example, uh, as I work with medical equipment, Equip we buy mm -hmm. equipment, mm -hmm. we buy equipment, and we sell it to Social Security, for example. Mm -hmm. To the ease. Yeah, to the ease, and the ease can contact directly to the manufacturer. Can or can't? Can't. You see? Mm -hmm. So that's exactly what this is talking about, that, and that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Most likely, this is a very common issue. Nowadays, stores sell different brands, different things, right? Mm -hmm. Through third parties, so it is very common. All right, keep it up, girls. Um, discuss them, and I'm going to check another group. Okay. Um, we have who is the person, but, well, ¿cómo lo digo en español? La cosa es que no me importa quién esté allí. Muchas veces son alumnos de ingeniería, son alumnos de arquitectura, que como yo no soy ingeniero, me comienzan a decir, oh, yo estoy un ingeniero. Entonces, ¿qué nos va a enseñar? Y yo como, ah, yo sé que saben más que yo, les digo, pero para aprender. Comienzo siempre con base de dibujo técnico, por eso, porque sé que varios nos perdemos en eso cuando no hay práctica. I love your Spanish. Y... It's, it's very... Sorry. <laughs> you know, love it. I just... Try to punish me. <laughs> no. Come on, challenge yourself, girl. If you don't know how to say it in English, then give it a go. Give okay. it a go is like give it a try. Give it a go. Okay. Uh -huh. Jump to the water, girl. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to let you alone. I'm going to leave you alone so you can try. You got three more minutes. <laughs> Wait, goodbye. Goodbye. I go into the wood or wood, wood because it's went. So went is go past to go. So wood yeah. out. Last um, night. Remember, girls? Hey, Last, hi, by the way. Yeah. That There's a mistake with that one. Oh. Mm -hmm. really? So that's the one that I already reported. Mark it down, write it down, that it has to be fixed. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, if you're already finished and you got everything, um, everything else done, just go ahead and, and you know, give, uh, give your opinion. For example, is it easier to return? Like number two, part four, number two. Is it easier to return buying directly through the store, through the provider, or through a third-party website? So... Let's go ahead and talk about the topic. Let me okay. check how other group uh, is doing. Good job, okay. Bruce. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what is that? We, are, we have issues with the last sentence. Yeah, no worry. Everybody does because it's incorrect. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one I told you that it has to be fixed. <laughs> The problem uh, is that it is just incorrect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're already finished, you just have, uh, well, I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day as far as this exercise. To call it a day is like to finish something. Hey, I'm tired. Let's call it a day. It's like to finish. But not the class, right? This exercise. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Be too happy. <laughs> All right, see you in a couple of seconds in the main one. Hey guys, so we are coming back little by little. People still have like 10 seconds. 
to appear. So, welcome back to all of you guys. Tell me, were you able to finish this part? Obviously, except part the the, the last exercise, the number five. Uh huh. Besides number yes. five, did you have any problem? No. No. Yes. Not right now. The rest of the uh, part four was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. Alrighty. So let me go I ahead and. I have one in part, in part three. Okay. In part three. Let's do something, Roxana. Let, yeah. me, let me call attendance. Okay. I'm gonna answer your question, all right? Just okay. double checking if everybody is, if anybody has joined. Um, Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera? <laughs> no. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba? Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. Oh, yeah, I already called you previously. Yes. Okay, nice. You see, it's good to double check. Ha! The, the, <laughs> David Orlando Nerio. I'm still here. And David is still not here. You see, the opposite. Juan Carlos Garcia Laines. Nope. And that's it. So tell me, Roxy. Roxana, I, I forgot you don't like to be called Roxy. <laughs> Uy, uh -huh. Don't what worry, don't worry. Um, part three, number number three. Hmm. When did you move to the city? I put my new neighbor asked me when I had moved moved to the city. I don't know where is the mistake. Show me what you got, please. Show me oh. the answer that you typed, so I know if there's any typo or something. Where where I can show you? <laughs> Copy the you... answer and paste it in the chat, for example. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. That way I can double check it. Okay. Where is... Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> It's down below near the... Oh, yeah, yeah, here, here, here. here. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's kind of sneaky. Do you know what is the meaning of sneaky? Okay. No. Nope. Right sneaky is that it's uh, difficult to catch. Sneaky. Oh, it's sneaky. Sneak mm. is like... Uh, like... Escuridiza? Aha, uh -huh. mm -hmm. sneak. Where's my... Where's sneaky. my... Your dog is... If you have a dog, normally they are sneaky when you want to uh, give them a bath, right? <laughs> So, right, or when you have no driver's license and you see a uh, a checkpoint. Are you My talking about neighbor? me? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> Us. Uh -huh. Now remember, guys, that when we have this, we don't need me. But in the other ones, I put me and it was okay. Yeah. Yes, it's true. That, uh, that's true. It is to this city. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you put the city. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's another one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now, but for some reason, the answer doesn't have me either. So do it without um, me. Okay. Ah, uh, huh. you know what? As a matter of fact, my new neighbor asked how many children I had. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I wouldn't use me. You're not supposed to use me either. Uh huh. I wouldn't use me. I, I haven't. Use. I haven't really noticed that thing. I'm gonna report it too. My new neighbor asked when I had moved no. to the to this city. To this city and the period. To this. Remember that uh, number maybe one. Maybe the period. Maybe remember? it's the period. Okay, let me show you something. No, it's wrong. It is wrong. And how you guys have it if um, you have it right? Check it. If you have it written, so. This is one that I'm gonna that I'm gonna ask you to double check, guys, because you're not supposed to use me. 
because you already have my new neighbor ask when I had moved to the city. So normally in the examples that we did during the class, me was not needed, remember? Yes. yes. Yeah. Only if without you have, uh-huh, without me. So I'm gonna report it because me shouldn't be there. And if, you, if you have it right there, then, then good. Just a moment. I'm gonna do it right now. Thank you guys for your support. You know, um, there are things to be done, and and I appreciate you letting me know where the company can improve. So thanks on behalf of English Corporativo. Just a second, please. Okay, reported. Any so guys, this is pretty much it about the midterm. Did you guys had any other issue? Do you guys have any other issue? You see, I made a mistake. Teacher, no. I didn't understand what do we have to do with the last question of the part four? Nothing. Yeah. Just wait Nothing. for that to be fixed. But, but what would be the right answer, teacher, for, because I tried in two different uh, ways. In the homework. Mm -hmm. Good. Good question, Karen. What do we do when we have simple past? We go to? To put in that past participle. Past perfect. Ah, past perfect, okay. So it's going to be had. Had it gone. Gone out. And the verb in the past, uh, in the past participle. Obviously, right now, Karen is it's not gonna work because it hasn't been fixed yet. But um, I mean, they are very diligent with this, so that means that I'm pretty sure tomorrow morning they are gonna be working to fix it. Okay. okay. Very good. So, um, guys, let's go ahead and move to. I think that you guys are having issues with 2.14. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, let me go ahead and double check it. While I'm opening this, I do have a question. What about you guys with your progress, with all previous homework? Have you finished all of them with 100%? Yes. Yep, okay. If you haven't, um, I would recommend you to go back to each homework. You know what? I'm going to show you something right now. Hope I could do it. Okay, it's loading, but I'm gonna open here. When you click here, guys, I don't know if you see my, if you see the arrow, the little cursor. When you click yeah. here in progress, you got curse, discussion. Oh, I gotta talk to you about the discussion box. Hmm. I'm gonna scold you a little bit. Um, you go to progress, and there you're gonna see how you're doing with it. It's gonna tell you if something is not complete. I would recommend you to double check it. You know, as soon as it loads. Give me a second. This is an embarrassing moment, so I don't want you to see it. It's loading. No, that's not what I want. Two point, no, two point. Yeah. It's gonna load eventually, guys. My apologies. I don't know why, but my internet is giving me a lot of issues and I have 50 megabytes. I don't think I should be having this kind of issues, but I am. Now it loaded. Okay, so here, uh, don't judge me, okay? Uh, I haven't done anything because I don't have to, right? <laughs> But here is your progress. You're going to click on progress and it's supposed to be in 100%. Tells you unit one, this is homework one, homework two, homework three, four, 
and five. So if you have everything complete, it should be telling you 20 out of 20. If you see, for example, 16 out of 20 or 15 out of 20, that means, same here, that means that you have to go back to that homework in particular, right? This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right? And you gotta fix it. So I would recommend you to double check this because I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna give you some time. Normally I'm required to send this information on Fridays, but I'm gonna give you until tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna do it around 4 or 5 p.m. Because I, I am required to send the information to Insta for So make sure you have 20 out of 20 and everything in 100% so you don't have any, any issues, okay? Any questions about this? No, it's fine. No, right. So let's move to, what are you doing there, boy? Mm -hmm, 2.14, just a second. Okay, here. What are the issues that you're having? In the last part. On the last part. Mm -hmm. One of the sentences is the same as the last one on the midterm. But here in, this, in, the, in the homework, it's correct. Which one is it? One, two, three, four, or five? In the, my case, I have the number two and three. You have them incorrect. Yeah, both. I have two, two, correct. Three. two, three, and five. <laughs> okay, good. We'll still have time to fix it. No worries. So number one, we are all good with it, right? Yes. And uno estamos todo blue, todo bien. Yes. Good. Uh, number two. Mm -hmm. So we went out last night. She told me. Okay. What are the answers you have? This has a lot of combinations, guys. Mm -hmm. They had gone out last night. That's my answer. She told me before they had gone out. I bet she told me they had gone out the night before. Uh huh. Try yes. that way. She told me that they had gone out the night before. Yeah, that's what I wrote. That's what I wrote in two fourteen, and I got it right. But in the midterm, I got it wrong. Yeah, remember that the midterm has issues, and that I already reported. Mm -hmm. Perfect. But here is where you have to, you need to get it correct. So, uh huh. So she told me they have gone out the night before. Correct, yes. and, the, and the period. So that's supposed to give you the right answer. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, it is, it is right. Mm -hmm. In my case, not, no. Then double check, <laughs> there, there might be a spelling, perhaps you, uh, you type. Me. Two she times. told me. She told me that they had gone out the night before. Ah, she told me that. Mm -hmm. No. Had gone out. That she told me teacher. that. Yeah, okay. Give it a try, please. And and I want to make sure everybody has that right. She told me they had gone. In my case, it works. Okay. What are the or Eric who said that? He yeah, she told me that they had uh, oh, gone out the night before. I'll just say that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So everybody should be able to get it right this time with this. There are a couple of incorrect answers here too. All right, are we cool with uh, number two? Got it? Yes, yeah, we are. Yeah. Roxana? Yes. No, I don't know where is the mistake. <laughs> She what? told me that mm -hmm. they had omit that. Omit that. Omit that, Roxana. Or keep that because it's working. Check the chat, Roxy. Roxana! Uh, mm, two times in a night. Two times a night. My apologies. Um, check the chat, okay? Okay. Good. Thank you. So, uh, number three. She told uh -huh. me, what do you have? She, she told me I, that she hadn't mm -hmm. gone to the party. Okay. He should be giving it correct. She told me. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Correct. 
give it a try and let me know if uh, it's being accepted. Yeah. Did you guys get it? You told me yes. that. All right. So in the meantime, while while we have people working with that. What about number four and five? You you got it right or wrong? Right. The last one is wrong. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What is the past of want? What is the past of want? Oh no, what uh -huh, want? Wanted. Uh, wouldn't. Wouldn't. And make it contracted. Yeah, with the contraction. Mm -hmm. Use the contraction and it should be, it should be giving it to you. Oh. She said the contraction. Okay, so try with wouldn't, please. <clears throat> See if it works. All right. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be working with this because it's time. So, so far, if you have any type of issue, then go ahead and report it to me. Remember, go ahead and double check your exam tomorrow to make sure that none of the answers have been taken away. Revísenlo por si le dieron en la nuca alguna de las que estaba buenas, ¿ya? Y asegurarse que lo tienen completo. Now, again, Señores, no todos están. Estoy recibiendo nada más una o dos este, respuestas a los posts. ¿Ok? Y necesitamos que en los chats, abajo de cada video, son cosas sencillas. De, deme tres tips de cómo evitar identity theft. Si estuvieron en la clase, lo pueden hacer. Use a good password. Don't use a public Wi-Fi to make purchases. Whatever. ¿Ok? Así que, porfa, por mí... I mean, that's fine. I have no issues. But it's a four of monitoring that. And I have been told, a mí me dijeron, que era mandatorio. Así que, you know, turkey face on that one. Any question, guys? Thank you. Okay. So, guys, uh, thank you very much. Traje mi camisa negra. Siempre que tengo exámenes, me pongo camisa negra. No, estamos de lutos. Y no funcionó con ustedes. It didn't work with you. So, I am very happy for that. Thank you very much for your hard, uh, your hard effort. In the name, on behalf of English Corporative, of English Corporative, thank you. On behalf of Alejandro Narbona, get out of here. See you Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.